Um, all right, so we've made our hut. We're going to sleep. Uh, Ford, if you've got a second. Oh. Yes, of course. Uh, talk outside for a second. Mm, sure. Okay. You guys walk out. the 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 light has dimmed. Uh, there's just that faint bit of silvery light that kind of crests the white snow in the fields down below the mountain on the edge of it. Um, night is coming rather rapidly. Uh, I know you're having a hard time with everything, and uh, uh, I know you have a lot of questions. Uh, my family came originally from uh, disciples of, a, of one god, and we were given to another. And then that goddess uh, has put us in the service of yet another. While, while we do worship the Wild Mother, and we are, we are clerics of the Wild Mother and, and followers of the Wild Mother and paladins and otherwise, I'm so sorry, my bag is just going everywhere. No, I'm, I'm pulling things out and setting a thing up anyway, so it all works. <laughs> Setting up a little thing. Uh, one of one of the prime uh, one of the, the uh, prime tenets of what we do is we're about gift giving, and we are the wild mother's expression of uh, joy and bounty. And I know that she has seen you and deemed you worthy of her consideration. And I'm very, very glad that she has decided to take you through this next part of your voyage towards whoever you're going to be, but part of what we do, Clay's, is, is about finding what's true for you. And it may be her, or it may be another deity, it may not be, but she is here to help you become who you need to be, but you don't necessarily need to end up in her charge, and that may not be what we're trying to blossom within you. You may be a gift for another god. You, you said you were, you worshipped one god, and then were gifted to another, and then another? <sighs> the Raven Queen was our original patron, the Clays, and when we asked questions about what she would want from us, she sent us to the Wild Mother, and we became her, well, we, we became her charges. And when we asked the Wild Mother what she would have of us, we became the makers of fine gifts. Graves are gifts. Oh. Often for the living and for those who remain, but also right. The gods and goddesses have to talk to each other and communicate with each other, and one of the ways that they do that is by reminding, uh, reminding themselves that they are all part of a larger tapestry and interconnected. You can't have civilization without nature. You can't have a storm without nature. You can't have stories and dreams without civilization. All these things, they have to connect to each other, and sometimes it's about finding out where something's supposed to be. Um, I'm casting Commune. Okay. I'm going to let you speak to her. To, to who? To the Wild Mother. You have three questions. The answers will be simple, just yes or no, simple positives or negatives. But uh, if you want, and it can be, I know we have a lot here, and if you have any questions about what we're getting into, that's fine, but I wanted to give you the opportunity of maybe clarifying something that's inside of you. Right, three questions, simple yes or no answers. Or complex yes or no's. All right. I have set up a small little fire and I'm breathing in the incense and starting my trance. Okay. Um, I have felt your presence, Wild Mother. 
Is there a reason that you intervened in my particular journey? Can you carry this question on? I do. Um, Just the, spring along. Yeah. The warmth of her presence comes and encircles you, and the biting cold of the growing night fades around both of you. Though you do not have a, a direct connection, there is kind of a presence and a warmth that unexpectedly encircles your space beyond just the, the small fire you've set. Um, the answer comes through unclear. I think it's the wrong question. I don't think that that has that kind of answer. Wrong question. I miss having the ability to affect greater change by having more at my fingertips. If I were to change the way that I live, change what I focus on or do, would you be able to help me regain some sort of standing in a way that's similar to what I knew before? And the warmth becomes a, a jovial understanding, and the wind picks up slightly around you, but it's a warm wind. And you swear for a second you see a green leaf or two kind of scatter by before vanishing into the shadow of night. Um, the answer appears to be a definitive yes. I think so. Something akin. Oh God, now I have all the 20 more questions. Why did I ask a stupid one first? Um, I don't know about any of this. It's all a bit under overwhelming cities and nature and deities and overlapping. Would you please do something or show me something or intervene or take agency in my life and show me how best to move towards achieving that sort of change? 